and welcome to State of Business. You are with me, Madhusha Tavapala Kumar. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Indian Prime Minister says India is committed to Sri Lanka's economic prosperity. And a new chairman of Colombo Stock Exchange explains his vision to develop share market. Now the story is in detail. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi says India is committed to the economic prosperity of Sri Lanka. He said that India and Sri Lanka will also work together to uphold values of peace. Modi expressed these views addressing the opening ceremony of the UN Day of Vesak in Colombo today. 2017 UN Day of Vesak celebrations were inaugurated in Colombo today. The opening ceremony was held at the BMSAH with the participation of the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. To honor and deepen our links of Buddhist heritage, I have the great pleasure to announce that from August in year, this year, Air India will operate direct flight between Colombo and Varanasi. This will each travel to the land of Buddha for my brothers and sisters from Sri Lanka. And for us, the most relevant benchmark for the success of our friendship is your progress and your success. We are committed to the economic prosperity of our Sri Lankan brothers and sisters. We will continue to invest in driving positive change and economic growth to deepen our development cooperation. Our strength lies in sharing our knowledge, capacity and prosperity. In trade and investment, we are already significant partners. We believe that free flow of trade, investment, technology and ideas across our borders will be to our mutual benefit. India's rapid growth can bring dividends of the entire region, especially in Sri Lanka. This is the first time Sri Lanka is hosting the UN Vesak Day celebrations. Speaking at the opening ceremony, President Matripala Sirisena said the Buddhist teachings provide solutions for all the issues that prevail today, may it be social, political, economic or cultural. <laughs> मैं प्रश्न सियाल लगाते हैं ये वाला जाति अंतर्वासी में न पुरवा जाति का वाचन में न पुरवा ये सियाल का तो विषय नहीं तेरा वाला जो बहुत दर्शन है बुले पहले दिन वो पेन मुंड करना बावे बहुत दिन दिए थे अभी सेम के लिए पड़ा था अभी मैंने उत्तम खड़ा युक्त बुले अब सीरो दिन आमे भी जहाँ पाक समाजे सामे सुरक्षित करण अपे रटवाचे कातो जाति मतलब समग्र बोलना करण बहुत दर्शनीय जन्मी दुल अपे रटवाचे कातो आर्थिक यहाँ पर करण बहुत आर्थिक दुल अपे रटवाचे कातो यहाँ पर समाज जाग बोलना करण बहुत नीति दुल अपट बहु दे तिबेरमा अध्ये निकरण बांधा करण प्रिया करण पढ़े पढ़ा the UN General Assembly officially declared the Day of Vesak in 1999 as a United Nations International Day at a request from the then Sri Lankan Foreign Minister Lakshman Kadargamar. Today, the global arms builders have led to arsenal, including weapons of mass destruction. These are available to a few countries, but very soon may be in the hands of non state actors. Consequently, Sustainable world peace is not only imperative, but a prerequisite for the existence of life on the planet. planet. The task before you is to deliberate on how Buddhist teachings can be applied to today's world so as to ensure social justice and sustainable world peace. See you after this break.
Welcome back. The newly elected chairman of the Columbus Stock Exchange, Ray Abe Vardana, says state-owned enterprises and big corporates in the country should be encouraged to list their shares on the CSC in order to improve the market capitalization. The CSC's market capitalization is around 25% of the gross domestic product, which is quite low compared to peer economies. The market capitalization to GDP is regarded as one of the key indicators investors consider when making investment decisions on share markets. We have to introduce initiatives of increasing the market capitalization by way of enticing or by, by way of encouraging and by way of getting the state-owned enterprises, the SOEs, to get listed on the market. We also need to encourage the local, the, the private companies to list. Because if you look at the key drivers of the economy, primarily the apparel industry, we only have textured jerseys as a listed company. Whereas the bigger, the, the, the bigger contributors to our GDP output are not listed. Significant government entities like the airlines, the petroleum, the state or other key state owned enterprises are also not listed. When you, when I talk of listings, what we are saying is that we don't need to list control or we don't need to give away control. We are talking of small stakes, 5 to 10 percent of that can be listed. Then the entire market capitalization will increase significantly. You can watch the full interview we had with Ray Abe Vardana at 7.15 p.m. tomorrow in Market Watch. King Arthur, the legend of the sword, was premiered at the newly refurbished Liberty Bioscope Cinema in Colombo last evening. Our television was the official media partner of the show. The media minister Gayanth Karna Tilaka was the chief guest at the event. Incidentally, the film was screened in Sri Lanka 36 hours before it was screened in any other country. What kind of a man would you become had you inherited your father's kingdom? You made quite a snap. The film was awesome. It was, like I said, it was magical to put a smile on people's faces. Uh, the feedback has been very positive and we're very energetic and happy and excited to launch this product. And we actually have, uh, we have a lot of plans for the future, which, and we've got a great team. We thought of introducing a different experience in the sense like we want to benchmark ourselves with international cinema chains. So that is why you have, if you come to our cinemas, you know, you come to our cinemas, you come to a basically a international level uh, cinema. Uh, so we run our movies without having any intervals. Uh, when it's come to our food and beverages, it's fantastic, it's brilliant, it's better than any other, any other, any other competitor. Uh, and we are, we are hoping to open so many cinemas around the island. It's a new experience. I mean the 3D and everything, the picture quality and then the entire theatre itself, it has a like a new look to it and the ambience and everything is really good about it. Well, I've always been a fan of the Liberty Cinema. Uh, but to come into this, as soon as I walked in, it was like a whole new experience. I like the movie a lot, and I like the experience, and a very, uh, very good, uh, fun movie experience. Let's take a look at the stocks after this break. Welcome back. The trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended in a positive note today. The All Share Price Index gained 5.15 points to close at 6,671.98, and SNPSL 20 Index gained 13.72 points to close the session at 3,850.22. The turnover was 652.1 million rupees and 23.8 million shares were traded. Next is Forex rates. Now we have dealing room update for the week. The US dollar and Sri Lankan rupees spot next closely slightly firmer on Tuesday at 
152.75 levels due to exported dollar sales and inward remittances. The forward rupee premiums for 3, 6 and 12 months recorded at 2.85, 3, 5.7, 5.8 and 11.30, 11.50 levels respectively. The call money market traded at 8.70%, 8.75% levels and overnight report traded at 8.70%, 8.73% levels today. The market deficit recorded at 12.864 billion levels as of Tuesday. The 6 months and 12 months treasury bills in the primary market decreased by 10 basis points to 10.43% and 10.73% respectively, while 3 months treasury bills remain unchanged at 9.73% at the auction held on 8th May 2017. The bids received for the auction is Rs 77.7 billion, where CBSL accepted only Rs 30.5 billion. The secondary market bond rates were volatile in this week. The 15th of January 2019, 15th of December 2021 maturities were trading at 11%, 11.05% and 11.40%, 11.45% levels respectively, while the long tenure maturities of 1st of August 2024 and 1st of August 2026 were trading at 11.50%, 11.58% and 11.52%, 11.60% respectively in the early hours of trading today. With that, we wrap up State of Business for the week. Join us tomorrow with the Biz Roundup at 7 p.m. Until then, take care. Good night.